For a government that chalked up appreciable economic success in its first years, the current economic times must be strange. Though many economic experts would say they did warn the government, the hard times are not something the Nanado Baumia government foresaw or expected. And even if it was ever expected, they didn't acknowledge. The consistency in the number of times government had had to change its position, especially in regards to economic issues, is perhaps evidence of how bad things may be. The president, Nana Kufado, was categorical in his October 30 address when he said there will be no haircut for investors. I also want to assure all Ghanaians that no individual or institutional investor, including pension funds, in government treasury bills or instruments will lose their money as a result of our ongoing IMF negotiations. There will be no haircuts. So I urge all of you to ignore the false rumors. The Information Minister Kojopo Nkrumah would further explain the President's statement with respect to haircut was only on principle of investment. The first speculation that came out on the market, which has caused panic, is a haircut on principles. The president has responded to that. He says there's not going to be any haircut. People are asking for some more information. I go back to the original thing that we have always said. There is absolutely no use in speculating now. Very shortly, the analysis and the details of the DSC and debt restructure will all be put out there. I think we can have confidence and calm that this is the clarity that we have been given, and let them come with those details. But barely 25 days after the president address, the 2023 budget statement revealed otherwise. Attempt by Deputy Finance Minister Dr. Jan Kuma to provide further and better particulars only exacerbated the confusion. We are expecting to bring down government's obligation on our debt borrowing and interest payments. And we strongly believe that the domestic uh, investors in Ghana as we have it today. His Excellency the President has already announced that there is not going to be any haircut on their principal, which we have stated. Of course, there will be external engagement that will do haircut for our bond holders. According to the Deputy Minister, local investors will only receive their full interest from 2026 after receiving zero interest in 2023, 5% in 2024 and 10% in 2025. Dr. Kumar seems to have gone ahead of the Ministry of Finance, which says these matters are still on the table for deliberation and consideration. Be that as it may, one thing is certain, the President's earlier announcement does not hold any more, but the nature of the haircuts remains confusing, at least per government communication. Economists like Professor John Gachi of the University of Cape Coast have been forthright from day one, that the government in its current situation cannot do without haircuts. The president only talk about treasury bill and pensions that would, they will not suffer haircuts. But the president didn't talk about elongation of the maturity period. So we can also assume that there is possibility for elongation of maturity period. So that is what I believe that the president is not well briefed. Providence is gradually proving them right.